I, as you can see, it's different from Hoffenheim. We've got Rotherham now. Uh, they get sacked from Hoffenheim, so I'll just go up there. Um, German League now, I'll show you exactly how they finished. See the eighth there. The team hasn't changed much since um last one since obviously they sacked me after a transfer window. Um fixtures. Right, as you can see guys, I played this one here. This one I can't look up because not the mind anymore, but I played against Valencia at home and we got a nice draw there, then I didn't then I got sacked after that. Then they played the Nuremberg game, which lost four 0 but they've played well in last like the um, Euro Cup. But I think that even if I got there, I think we probably would have beat Lille. I mean, five 0 against Lille here is pathetic. Considering we managed to draw with them twice, so that I'm not very happy with. The fact that I got sacked when I was still on the roll to winning a cup when yeah, you know I mean, last season we didn't win much. So yeah, the only job going was Rotherham, unfortunately. So not in the division I'd want to be in, but you know, still getting somewhere. Uh, as you can see, last the league, they are 14th this season. So they have a bit of potential next season, I hope. Um, I am still applying for jobs in higher leagues, just in case I managed to get one. So you've got to count your leads there. I think I've already applied for, uh, uh, you're applying for leads there. Might get that one. I mean, I don't know what, don't know what league they're in, to be honest with you. Championship. Playoffs in the championships. I'm guessing they didn't win that. But um, yeah. So yeah, what I was going to do with this one is obviously show you how I get better players. So first of all, what you want to be doing up to the run up to the great start to say it's a new season, you want to be going expiring. But obviously these are the players that will be out of contract and you can try and negotiate with them early. Fabian Spice there. Anyone that looks quite decent. I would recommend you check the stats yourself rather than just do a scout report and go off that because you can get really good players. Um, no one really suitable for my kind of level. But yeah, that's what else you need to know is that really that's, that's how you get them early. But if you want expired on interested players, so I'll turn interested players off. There's a few more now. Um, if you start by age, but age right, but as you can see, there's some quite good ones. He'll be quite good. I think you should have scout him obviously to get his stats. But for this level, there's kind of alright decent ones. You tend to get all the regens on this as well. Jake Biddle seems quite solid around these stats. Um, but yeah, basically you go and customize expired. That you can confirm that, and as the season progresses, the youngsters will come in. And it works a bit. Uh, it works easily like that. And um, so I'll do it. I'll scout these two, and we'll continue. There's not a lot left to show you this season. Hopefully, the scout report will come back soon. As you can see, they're both decent players. If you view the report, you can see the stats now. He played for about four goals. He's clearly quite a good, good player. As you can see, his stats are quite. Is he actually really good for his age? Because he will improve a bit. Crossing dribbling is not the best, but you know, his headings, passing, it's, it's all consistent on that kind of basis. Ferreira, so you could probably sign him. So he could be a good player looking forward to the future. Um, this is the Carciera, the goalkeeper. Carciera, sorry. He's got really good stats as well. So you don't even need agility technique, well, you need agility, but you don't need technique or creativity really. So he's a solid, solid player. So that's how I get the, the players that I do, the cheap players I do, and the the regard is a good good team. To show you I actually do use that I'll offer my contract now. So you can get two point two K because these are players that come from obviously playing with Botafogo in Brazil, so they come over here, the high level of football, so they just kind of expect that kind of thing. They're just happy to be in the club the, 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 this like club country type type format. So yeah guys, that's basically it for now. So I'll show you the fixtures for this club first. As you can see, I took over, I think it was Stevenage, 12th of April, no, I mean Huddersfield, and I thought it was all going to go downhill, but you know, it, went, it turned up well. And we've got some nice wins on the board, obviously two losses I'm not really that you're happy with, but we were leaking goals, so there's not really much I could do about that. But yeah, 
Um, we have some questions, mainly how I record. Um, so I'll close this down now. You can see this gets in front mind you. How I record is basically this thing here, the display recorder. Um, basically what you have to do is you have to go on the city here. And just wait while this loads up. You want to add this one here, Sinful iPhone Repo. If you go to D, Display Recorder, it's this one here, Display Recorder Cracked. Then if you install that, it will basically pick up a little thing. It's redundant really now because it always does that, but all you have to do is you can hold on the sleep button and you can enable this and you can put them, add them into your camera roll for direct upload. Or you can upload it via the app. So, yeah, guys, that's how I, download, that's how I uh, record. That is the final update of the Hoffenheim. That of a new place at Rotherham. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all there.